Hi guys, today I am back to film my project pan update. It's update number four. I don't know why. Number four or number five? I think it's number four. Um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started with empties because we got a lot of stuff to talk about and I don't want this video to be too long. So a first thing for empties is I finally finished my NARS Rokugian lip pencil. <laughs> very bittersweet about this. I'm very, very happy to have finished this. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm very happy to finish this. Um, it's okay, it just wasn't really my favorite, but I did mention to you guys that I got the Sephora Play Box, and if you saw anybody's unboxing video, you know that we got another one of these. So, I was so happy to have finished this, and then just seeing another one, I was just like, I don't know, I just felt like defeated all over again, and I was just like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to pan it or get rid of it, but not happy to see that pencil again. So I did finish this this month. Next I finished this Bath & Body Works Coconut Sunset Lotion. I actually finished this last night. Um, there wasn't that much in here so I was like I'm just gonna shave my legs really quick and just be done with it. So that's what I did. There is some product in here but it's like it's very thin. Um, there isn't really like that much in there. I shook it as hard as I could to get everything out. So there's just a little bit of product in there but like not not much at all. Um, so I finished that. Next up is the Bath and Body Works Forever Midnight Mist. <sighs> this took a really long time for some reason. I mean, I guess there was a pretty decent amount of product in there still, but I feel like this just took forever. So I'm actually really sick of the scent of this now, so, and I think this was the last Forever Midnight product I had. Um, I used to have a body cream and I also had, you know, the perfume that I finished earlier. So I think this is the last Forever Midnight product I have, um, which is kind of bittersweet just because I do really like this scent, but I think just wearing it so much this last month, I'm kind of sick of it. So I'm going to miss this because I'm pretty sure they don't make it anymore. It's been discontinued. Um, I think I got this for Christmas, not this last year, but I think the year before. So this is gone now and done. Next up is the Pacifica Hand Cream in Tuscan Blood Orange. I love this scent. It is one of the best blood orange scents I have ever found. Um, I'm gonna get, I think, the perfume too because I really like it, but there really wasn't that much product in here. I kind of discovered that last update and I just used a ton of it. So I made sure I kind of hurried up and finished it. Um, it only took me, I think, like two weeks to get through this. So like I said, there really wasn't that much product in here, but that is gone. Next up is my Elizabeth and James Nirvana, the black and white perfume rollerball duo. As you can see, those are both empty now. Um, I do like these. I was thinking about repurchasing them, but I find myself not reaching for them. Um, I find myself reaching for other perfumes over these, so I just kind of am debating on it. Um, most likely though, I probably won't repurchase them. But that is now finished. For my sample category, I'd already hit the goal of five samples last update, but I do think I finished one sample. I just finished a little face mask packet, which you guys will see in my empties video. So I'm at seven now instead of six. So that is it for my empties part. Let's go ahead and get on to the update with everything else. So first up is my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. When it comes to makeup this last month, I've been really lazy. I have been using a lot of the same products repeatedly. Luckily, they've all been Project Pan stuff, so I have been wearing this actually, I feel like, a lot this last month. The month before, I think I'd only worn it a handful of times. This time, it has been way more than that. So, you can kind of see my progress lines there. This bottom one here, this really faint one, is where we are currently at. So, you can see a huge jump in progress. I'm surprised how fast this is going. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm mixing it or what is going on, but I feel like I'm going through it way faster than... I thought I would be, um, which makes me kind of question repurchasing it in the future, but um, so far a really good month with this. Next up is supposed to be my Laura Geller Baked Trio. I gave it another week and I still wasn't reaching for it and still wasn't really using it, so I did decide to take it out, um, but I'm going to let you guys choose what I replace it with. I have two products here that I want to pan um, and I'll let you guys choose. The first one is the Dr. Jart BB Disappoor. Um, when the month started, I was actually all the way up here, and now you can see I'm kind of down to like here. So I do want to get rid of some more foundations and BB creams in my collection, so this would be a nice one to pan. Otherwise, the other one is the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer. 
I feature, featured this in a haul not that long ago and it was full and as you can see I have used quite a bit. Um, so both of these I'm panning. I'm going to pan them either way. It's just which one would you guys like to see like updates with? Um, which one would you actually like to see in my project pan? So I will let you guys choose down below. Go ahead and just kind of vote in the comments. Whichever one gets the most comments I will choose that and that'll be whatever um, product we're moving forward with in the future updates. So these are kind of the two options. Those were just the two categories that I had the most stuff I wanted to get rid of. Uh, my foundations and my concealers. So that's why I picked something from that category. My NYX Baked Blush and this is in Wanderlust. Um, I don't know if it's going to look terribly different to you guys. It's probably going to look really pretty much the same. But I can definitely tell when I compare this to another NYX blush, big blush that I have that I've only used, I think that blush I've only used like three times. When I compared this to that one, I can tell that this one is starting to get really flat. That one is still really, really domed and this one is starting to flatten out. So a lot more progress with it this month. Like I said, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, um, but I can definitely tell it is getting flatter um, and we're getting there. So I'm really happy with this one this month. Next up is my Anastasia Dip Brow. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to really tell, um, but there is progress with this. I have used this most of the month. There have been like maybe five days total that I've worn something else on my brows or like nothing at all. But otherwise it has been this. So I'm going to try to show you, I mean it's dipping down in certain places because I've kind of been like focusing my brush a little bit more. Like I feel like right here you can really see it is dipped down and you almost pretty much can't see the product there but that's what it looks like so i mean it's still a long ways to go but i feel like i am kind of starting to see it move a little bit progress wise so that is my dip brow next up is my benefit their real liner the only thing i did with this month was swatch it um, I love how black and like insanely pigmented and long lasting this is, but it is a harder to work with product. And like I said, I've kind of been a little more lazy with makeup this last month and I've been using a lot of the same products repeatedly. So I haven't really reached for this because it is a more difficult to use product. Um, like I said, last month I was going to throw it in my weekly makeup basket. It was in here. I just wasn't reaching for it. So I don't know, I might have to take out the Mally liner that's black and put this in here just to kind of get myself to use this. Um, but no real big progress with it, just a swatch. So up is the Benefit What's Up highlighter and pretty good progress with this one. I now have a pretty decent amount of pan showing there. Um, I've worn this a ton this last month. A lot of people have recommended wearing this as a base for a highlighter and then putting a powder one on top. I love that idea, but for some reason it kind of scares me because I feel like anytime I do that, I do a cream highlighter and then I do a powder one, I feel like the cream really grabs the powder and looks patchy and kind of not that blended. So I don't know, I have mixed feelings about doing that, so I have been wearing the Benefit just what's up on its own. Um, but I mean, I'm really happy with the progress. There are just some other highlighters I want to get to and some that I just enjoy and want to wear. So to finally have pan showing on it's nice, but I still feel like I have a ways to go. My Mally Liner in Midnight Affair. This isn't going to look any different. I have used it a few times this month. Not a lot. I've still been wearing my um, brown eyeliner more than this. But I don't know. I've used it a few times and it is still exactly the same. Um, it has not really changed. I haven't sharpened it or anything, but it's, it's so creamy that you don't really need a lot of product, I feel like. Um... Which is the thing. I feel like creamy eyeliners either go really fast or really slow. This one's going kind of slow for me, but I don't know. I, like I said, I don't need a lot of product. So when I apply it, I don't really have to sharpen it that often. So it's just kind of slow moving right now. Next up is the Mally Liner in Plum Sapphire. This one I have used a little bit more. It's what I have on my upper lash line today. Not that you can really see it because I kind of, I don't know, I applied it pretty lightly. Um... But that's what it looks like. I'll show you next to Midnight Affair. This same thing though, I've used it multiple times. I don't think I've sharpened it though. So I mean height wise, they're exactly where they were last time. Um, using them, just not seeing a lot of progress with them yet. So 
hopefully a little bit better progress coming up, especially because the Ulta Brown Eyeliner I'm about to talk about is getting close to the end. So, and so next up is my Ulta Liner or Automatic Liner in Deep Brown. I feel like it's probably going to look, ooh, it's actually really wiggly. So it kind of separated from the base a little bit. I'm going to turn it down just a tiny bit. That's all that's left. Not much left. Um, I have been wearing this pretty much every day. Um, so if you want an eyeliner that you are getting your money's worth with, get this one because <laughs> it lasts forever. Um, I had used it a lot before this project too. So I mean, as long as it's holding on, I'm very impressed, but at the same time, really got to get moving on the other eyeliners. So I'm hoping to have this finished in another month or two. I think my goal would be to have it finished by the end of June. So yeah, another month or two. Um, so I'm just going to keep up the progress with this and hopefully it'll be finished soon. Next up is the NYX Single Shadow in Stiletto. A lot more pan showing with this. So that is what it looks like now. This is not going to take me long at all to finish. These NYX shadows pan, I feel like, really, really fast. So if you've never panned an eyeshadow before, I would recommend trying some NYX single shadows. If you just kind of want to see what it's like or kind of get used to it, um, I would just pick some NYX single shadows because I feel like they pan very, very fast. Um, so this is Stiletto. Pretty happy with it. I have it on today. Um, it's mixed with a color from the Catwalk palette and I just have it in my outer V increase. It's a beautiful, soft, dusty pink color. I'm obsessed with it, but I have a million of these colors and palettes and things, so that is doing really well and should keep up with the next couple months. Next is my NYX Black Label Lipstick in Hot Pink, and I don't know if it's gonna look terribly different to you guys, but I can definitely tell it has went down. Um, I'm gonna try to show you guys, there was kind of some like marks on the side of the lipstick where like it had kind of gotten gouged by the tube inside and it has definitely moved closer to those. I haven't like went through them completely but you can kind of see those marks there on the lipstick. So that's kind of how I know that I have used some and it has went down. Um, but I have mixed this with so many different products this month. Luckily this lipstick mixes very nicely with a ton of different things. I've paired it with the ColourPop Ultra Mattes. I've paired it with an Intense Butter Gloss from NYX. Um, I'm trying to think. High Voltage Lipsticks from NYX. It just mixes really nicely with so many different things, um, which is great. And it's really pretty on its own. I will give you guys a swatch because I don't really do swatches in my project pans. But, I mean, there it is there. It's super pigmented, super pretty for spring. It smells like grape candy. So I definitely miss these. Um, cause I don't think NYX makes these anymore, but it pairs well with tons of different things. So this, I really don't think is going to take me that many more months. I feel like it might take me maybe two or three more months. Um, but because it's been pairing so well with everything, don't think it's going to take long at all. This is my Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Birthday Babe Lip Gloss. It's pretty much still right there at the line. Um, this side over here, it like is dipped down a little further, but otherwise this side over here, it's kind of at the line. Um, I haven't used this. I just haven't used it because I have been focusing on all the lipsticks. I haven't really focused on the gloss, but I know that this summer is probably going to be mostly when I use this because I do kind of like the cooling sensation a little bit more during summertime. It's been pretty cold and rainy and not that nice here, so I haven't really reached for this. So during summertime, this will definitely get more use. Plus the color to me is more of a summery spring color. So as soon as it starts to feel like spring or in summer, I will start to use this more. Next up is my NARS Corolla Lip Pencil. Um, I have not used this this month. Just because I have used Russian Red a lot, but I haven't used it kind of on its own. And I was going to use this as a lip liner anytime I did, but I didn't really wear Russian Red on its own. So I have not had any progress with this, which I'm okay with because I am working on Russian Red first and then I'll get to this. So no progress with this one, but... I don't think it's going to take me that long to finish when I do, so I'm not too worried about it. Next up is my Hemp's Herbal Lip Balm. There's progress at this one, but I don't feel like it's drastic product or progress. As you can see, there is like actual pan showing now, but I mean, there's not like a ton of product gone like last update. So there is pan showing and stuff, and it's a little bit of progress, but I feel like it's not anything super, super drastic. 
Um, my lips just have not been as dry this month, so I haven't been reaching for this quite as much. Um, I've been using other things to take off swatches and that kind of thing, so not a lot of use, but I mean, I'm alright with it. It's got pan showing now, so that's kind of a nice motivator to make sure it keeps growing. Next is the Benefit Cha Cha Balm. Exactly the same. Have not used this. Um, it's just very sheer and I don't really like it because it's kind of orangey. So I'm not going to lie, I have been kind of pushing this towards the end of my Project Pan lipsticks. Um, I've just been focusing on like three or four other ones and not really using this one. So I think that this summer though I am probably going to pair it with the Birthday Babe gloss and then that way I'm panning both of them. Um, but right now, just no progress with it. Next up is my NYX Butter Lipstick in Sweet Tart. This probably isn't going to look like it has any progress, but I have paired this again with so many different lipsticks and lip products this month. So that is what it looks like. Um, like I said, it doesn't really look that much different, but I have paired it with a ton of different things. Um, the ColourPop Ultra Mattes, Tense Butter Gloss, High Voltage Lipsticks, all that kind of stuff. So there's a swatch of it there. You can see it's brighter and more red than like the hot pink color. Um, but again, I've worn this a ton. It just isn't showing a ton of progress, but that's kind of okay because the hot pink color is more of my actual focus right now. So this I think I'm probably going to work on next. Um, and I'm just going to kind of keep working on it a little bit here and there. So some progress, it just doesn't look like it. Next up is the dreaded MAC Russian Red Lipstick. I have used this a ton this month. Um, I've probably worn this lipstick more than any other one this month. I haven't worn it on its own though. I have been mixing it, again, with all of the products I mentioned, ColourPop, NYX products. So I've been mixing it pretty much every time I wear it, but I just haven't worn it, worn it on its own. So it doesn't really look like it has any progress. I can tell it has went down some, but it's just not a lot. So that is what it looks like. Like I said, it pretty much looks the same. I can tell it has gotten a little bit shorter, um, but I am just going to really have to step it up because this product I wanted to have finished by the end of my June update, and I'm a little worried about hitting that knowing that there's only two months until the end of my June update now. So I am going to have to really step it up. I'm going to have to wear this on its own, um, reapply all that stuff, just get through it as fast as I can. So I have a ton of progress with this, but it doesn't look like it. And I'm just going to, you know, keep doing that and keep just kind of stepping it up a little bit more these next two months. So that is Russian Red. Next is my Maybelline Color Tattoo and Barely Branded. This is what it looks like now. I have used it and kind of smoothed it out some, but not a lot of progress with this. Um, I have another eyeshadow primer that is just holding on for dear life and it's almost finished. So that's kind of why I haven't used Barely Branded as much, but I think for my next what day is it? It is Thursday, um, Saturday or Sunday when I do my make, my weekly makeup bag. I think I'm gonna take all other eyeshadow primers and bases out. That way, this does get a little bit more use. I've said in the past updates, there's not a lot of product in here, but it's going to take a long time to finish. It's not something that you use a lot of when you use it, so I do need to kind of kick it into high gear with this one because I feel like I'm gonna end up shoving this to the back of kind of my project pan stuff and at the end of the year I'm gonna be like oh my god there's still so much in here what am I gonna do so I need to kick it into high gear now with this one so that way I have a chance to get it done by the end of the year next is my MAC eyeshadow and naked lunch this I have been pairing with NYX stiletto so the pan has definitely grown on this one here too um, I'm just gonna keep panning them together I have it on my lids today I love it it's a beautiful color but to be honest, I don't really have that many MAC products and I'm kind of okay with that and I kind of just want to get rid of some of the ones I have. So this color, it's beautiful, but I don't think it's anything special. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and keep panning it. I have really enjoyed it, like I said, but just other things too similar. Um, so I think the pan and the progress of this one should continue in the next couple months. This is my Urban Decay eyeshadow in Virgin. It's not going to look terribly different. Um, there is more pan showing, but it doesn't, it's not a lot. Um, I have used this kind of here and there. I have it on my inner corner today, and I actually have it on as my cheek highlight today too, because thanks to you guys, another great suggestion to wear it as a cheek highlight. It's beautiful that way. I love it. 
The only thing is that stupid Benefit What's Up keeps me from wearing it as a face highlighter all the time. Um, but it is moving a little bit quicker, I feel like, now that I've done that. But it's only... I've only done that for like a week or two. So even though it's moving a little quicker, it's just not like enough that you're going to see progress because I haven't done it that long. But um, that is where it's at now. I think we will see a little bit better progress in the upcoming months, especially if I do continue to wear it as a face highlighter. But I love this shadow. It's one of my all-time favorites. So I really am not too worried about it. Up is my Nip and Fab Frown Fix. I've definitely used this quite a bit this month, probably more than last month, but it is still going strong. So just going to have to keep it up this next month and hopefully have it finished soon. I feel like there can't be that much more product left in here because the one day I used it, I almost used it all over my face. So there really cannot be that much product left in here. So it's got to be getting close to the end. Next is my Formula 1006 Get Your Glow On Brightening Mask. As you can see, I've added a mark there. I got lucky. Okay, a little tangent for a second. We ended up getting a baby bearded dragon. And this adorable little reptile lizard thing and he has very bright lights for his like tank and one day I was just kind of holding this up because his tank is like right in that corner over there and the way the light was hitting this as I held it up I was kind of able to see where the product was so I did make a mark where I was pretty sure the product was so that's kind of how I ended up actually getting a mark um, but hopefully I can kind of do that again in the future and we can kind of watch it go down but as you can see I'm probably like halfway-ish with this. There is still a lot in here um, and I didn't use it as much this last month as I would have liked but I did use it a few times it just wasn't a lot so I'm going to have to kind of step it up this next month. Next up is my Bath and Body Works Pink Chiffon Lotion. I forgot to mark it but you can see where it was last time was right here at the corner and it is down to here now. So I'll have to mark it after this update but I did use it some. Um, not a lot I think that this is going to be my next focus lotion. I was going to use something different, but since I finished that little coconut sunset one and I'm almost finished with the velvet sugar, I think this is just going to be the next one. Um, it's already got a little bit of a start to it, so why not go ahead and just keep going with this one? Plus, I do like the pink chiffon scent. Speaking of velvet sugar, that one is next. So this is where we are at now. As you can see, not a whole lot left. Um, pretty good. I think that if I shave my legs and use this for that I would probably get like five or six more uses because I do use quite a bit when I shave my legs I like to really layer it on really thick um, but I don't think this will take me too much longer it feels like it's pretty close to done every time I squeeze it I can kind of hear air come out of it so I think there's a little bit of an air bubble in here too um, but I'm pretty happy with my progress this month and I think I'll have this finished by next update so there's that up is the Bath and Body Works Coconut Vanilla Mist. I forgot to mark this one too. I'm just not on my game today. Um, but you can see where we were last time and if I could actually hold still you can kind of see where we are now. I'll mark it again after this video but you can see, let me try to get a little closer and hold still, you can see it's jumped down what like maybe half an inch maybe a little more. So this is my next Focus Fragrance. I have used it a little bit this last week, kind of stepped it up a little bit since I did finish that Forever Midnight one. And I feel like I'm gonna get sick of this fast because I'm already a little sick of it. So I might not do fantastic with this, ne this, this next month because I might kind of go a little slower with it. Um, I love it as a room spray, but for some reason as like a body mist or perfume, I'm just not liking it as much. So. I feel like this one is going to take me longer and it's probably going to be a little slower just because I'm a little sick of it already. Um, but I think I just kind of need to take a break from my Project Pan fragrances because they are almost all finished and I've been panning those so hard that I feel like maybe I should take some time and kind of wear some perfumes that I just genuinely love and enjoy in my collection that I've kind of been getting, you know, ignored because of Project Pan. This is my Pacifica Malibu Lemon Blossom Roller Ball. So last time it was just above the M in Blossom and you can see it is now down to here. So I figured out the trick to getting this to go faster is if I shake it first and then apply it I can actually get like a little bit more perfume out. I don't know why it kind of comes out almost like an oil if you don't and it's like a very minimal amount of perfume and it just takes forever. So I find that if I shake it and I get a little bit more perfume out obviously it pans a little faster. 
So I'm really happy with my progress this month because I think I've only worn this for like two weeks and then I started kind of moving on to other things. So I really don't think this will take me too much longer. However, I am going to wait and save this a little bit more for summertime just because it's one of my favorite summertime perfumes. Um, and while I'm happy with the progress and stuff, I just would rather save it for summertime. So this has good progress, but it's probably going to slow down. I feel like this next month a little bit. Next is my Victoria's Secret Coconut Passion Body and Hand Cream. I think I use this once. Just have the other lotions I'm working on, so this doesn't have a lot of use. But I think I used this once, just because I was kind of curious what the formula was like. It's been a long time since I've owned any Victoria's Secret's body products, so I was just kind of testing it out. This is my Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. This one I did remember to mark. Um, so you can kind of see where we were the last couple updates and I kind of have a bigger jump this last month. I have been using this the last like two weeks. I kind of did split the month in half and use something else the first two weeks and kind of use this the last two. But I feel like now that my hair is getting a tiny bit longer, I have been using a little bit more product with it. Um, plus my hair kind of went through a phase where it was really dry and I kind of had to try to mend it a little bit. And this does claim to be conditioning, so I feel like I used a little more of this too, kind of knowing it was going to help soften and condition my hair. So you can see there, pretty good progress mark. Um, and I think I'm excited to see what this next month's going to be like. This is my Sebastian Potion 9. I have used this two or three times this last month. So not a lot of progress, but a little bit. Um, I like to do this when I kind of want more beachy waves um, to my hair. So with summer coming, it's definitely going to get a little bit more use then because I feel like that's when I do that hairstyle a lot. So some progress this month, just not a lot. I wish I could show you guys something, but I can just tell it's a little bit lighter. Not a lot, but a little bit. Next is my Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play. This has gotten lighter too. Um, I've curled my hair. I've worn it in a little bit more like styles and stuff that I would hairspray it for. So I feel like the hairspray now... Last time I think I was like halfway and I kind of feel like now it's like down to here. It feels pretty low. Um, like the top hand of the top part of the can feels really light. So I feel like it's down in here. So not that much more to go, which makes me very happy. Um, I'm very excited to get a new hairspray. So just want to keep the progress up with that this next month. Next up is my um, Bedhead TG Small Talk. I put this through the words so you kind of hard to see my progress lines I kind of feel like but here is where I was la last update and then kind of the line through the L's is where we are now so nice little jump there um I mostly use this for the first two weeks of the month and then like I said I switched to the Paul Mitchell super skinny serum but I feel like on camera you can kind of tell like right through here where it's at that would have been a better place to mark than right through the words but progress nonetheless. Um, like I said, it's going to be a little different, difficult to keep the marks up with the writing on the bottle, but um, so far so well. I didn't grab my Bliss Hide and Glow Seek, but no progress with that one. Um, with it getting closer to short season, I will definitely be using it more though. So no progress right now, but it's an aerosol can, so I also kind of feel like it's probably not going to take me too terribly long. I feel like anything in an aerosol can doesn't really take that long to finish most of the time. Um, especially Bliss products. I don't know. There's kind of a lot of uses and kind of not. So, And lastly is my NYX Radiant Finishing Powder. In past updates, I have worn this all over my face. Um, this month, I haven't really done that. So it's just mostly been on my under eyes. But you can see I do have more pan showing there. Um, this end down here is very, very thin. The lavender and the blue. Um, the pink is pretty full, the green's kind of kind of in between, and then the white too is actually pretty low. So for some reason the pink and the yellow color are pretty full. Um, the yellow color I've talked about though in last kind of get ready with me's and that kind of thing. Um, when I swirl my brush in here, I swirl it over the whole, whole thing, and then lastly I kind of swirl it in the yellow, just because it kind of takes away some of that, like, stark white look that the powder can kind of have. So, I'm definitely progress with this. Um, if I use it as an all-over face powder, I think I'll see more, so I am going to have to kind of do that a few more times this next month. But, I mean, I'm pretty happy with this. I think I could finish this by the end of the year still. 
Um, I was a little nervous earlier in the month that I just wasn't gonna be able to get this done in time. Um, but if I quit wearing on my on just my under eyes and start wearing on the face a little bit more, I think I could definitely finish it. So that is my progress with that one. And that is it for everything. Um, pretty good month. I'm pretty happy with most things. The lipsticks, I'm a little nervous about, like I said, just because most of them, I have been using them a lot, but you don't really see the progress with them. So I'm kind of hoping next month you will see a lot more progress with them. Um, eyeshadows, though, I'm very pleased. For the most part, pretty happy. I think it was a pretty good month, um, and I really just want to keep it up for this next month. So I will see you guys next time.